What is up guys, Technology here. Now in today's video, uh, I want to show you guys how to download um, the uh, Flicklow uh, clock screensaver. So you guys have surely seen this around on Instagram or on Twitter, uh, it's pretty popular. But I want to show you guys how to get it because even my, I myself was not sure how to when a buddy of mine, uh, Textational, um, messaged me saying, you know, this is how you get it. I thought I'd share it with you guys. So uh, credits to Textational for uh, showing me how to get it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to your browser and you're gonna type in Flicklo, F-L-I-Q-L-O. And it's just flicklo.com. And you're gonna head over to the website. Once the website opens, you should see Flicklo on the top left. And it just have like a couple pictures flipping around, uh, you know, showing the uh, screensaver. So if you go over to the top right, you hit that button. You see it says for Mac Windows or for iOS. Uh, we're, we want Mac or Windows. And there's an ad, never mind the ad guys. Uh, I think look for Mac Windows, the clock screen server that allows you to make your desktop slash laptop screen look like a flip clock. Features scalable to any size, switchable 12 to 24 hour clock, uh, support for OS X Yosemite and Retina displays as well. It says for Mac OS X 10.8, 10.9, or 10.10, .10, which is fine. And as you can see, it says download for Mac, Windows, or donate via PayPal. So uh, be sure to select the one you want. I'm gonna hit download for Mac. And uh, as you can see, it started to download. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for it to download and I'll get back to you. So the download is complete, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It says opening for the clo underscore 161. And uh, then this should pop up right here. It says you have a Flicklow saver, you have read me and donate via PayPal. So if you go ahead and hit read me, if you don't want to, it's fine. But it just says put a couple features and uh, the price, which is zero dollars, says how to install and how to uninstall, which I found was pretty cool as well. You can go ahead and read through that if you want. We're gonna go ahead and hit saver and double click it. If you're like me, uh, you can't open it because it was from an unidentified developer. So what you're gonna have to do here is go into your settings and allow it to open. So I'm gonna show you guys where that is, just in case your settings are set like mine. What you're gonna do is open up your system preferences and head, o head over to security and privacy. And it should be right there. Allow apps downloaded from and then selected Mac App Store. Uh, Mac App Store and identify developers. You're gonna hit the uh, little lock, put in your password, and then you're gonna change it to anywhere. Or you can just hit open anywhere. Go ahead and open it. You hit install for this user only or for, for all users on this computer as well. This should open up your screensaver settings. What you want to do is go all the way to the bottom and hit uh, flick low. It should be right there. You can see it shows me a little preview. I can hit screensaver options to change it, uh, change the view. I can change it to 24 hour settings and all that. So it's pretty cool guys. It's that simple. Again, thank you so much Textational for showing me this and uh, be sure to check him out on Twitter, on Instagram, guys. He's a really good guy. And uh, um, be sure to hit the like button below if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.